Hello, Collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, share the content, do whatever your heart is leading you to do, is guiding you to do. You are appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your family. Lots of positive energy. Let's go ahead and find out what in the name of Source is going on here. Okay. So we have the Three of Cups followed by the Ten of Swords. Uh, this means that there is either a group of friends or someone that celebrated a little too early in something and they are now experiencing defeat. They are trapped in something they cannot get out of. Someone may be trapped in a toxic relationship. But what I'm getting is there is a group of people that are extremely toxic. Oh, they will not be having a fresh start in nothing. Someone was expecting to have some type of fresh start, uh, a new beginning in finances. They were expecting for things to get better for them, but it will not be getting better for them. Someone celebrated a little too early. It's almost as though someone is receiving karma, receiving a taste of their own medicine, but this is someone extremely toxic. This is a group of people actually that are, that are extremely toxic and they are trapped in something they cannot get out of. These are people with a lot of issues. They overindulge, a lot of explicit activities going on. They may even lay with each other, each other partners, things of that nature. There is no recovery for these people. So these people cross some type of boundary is what I just heard. So there will be no recovery. They were expecting to have some type of fresh start in something. I'm not sure what it is. It could be in business, in finance, in opportunities. Maybe someone was expecting to receive an opportunity or something. Yeah, finance. Someone was expecting some type of money, some type of financial opportunity, but it's not coming to them. Okay, we have a king of wands out here. Someone is have is going to have to be strong. They could have put you through something and you had to be strong through the experience. And now they have to be, you need to be on the lookout for a king of wands that is being exposed. There's a, the, the truth is being seen about this person. This is someone with poor management skills. This is someone who is a thief. Someone has been stealing something and they are being exposed for that. They may be trying to sneak away from a situation, but they cannot. Someone is lacking finances. They've lost quite a lot. Someone may be unemployed. Someone is a poor business manager, or poor, just a poor manager overall, a poor leader. They have been stealing and have been found out. Someone with a lot of toxic activities, toxic ways. This is someone that pretends to be in the upright, but they are extremely malicious, conniving, and they are exposed. They will not be recovering. Someone is facing either homelessness, unemployment. This person is going through quite a lot. This could be karma for something they did to you with this stand of source being out here. Okay, but they're trying to sneak away. Someone may be trying to get on the run or something of that nature. They are trapped. They cannot get out of this. Someone is trapped. Someone is trapped in their mind, in their life, in their situation. Someone is trapped in every way possible you can think of. They cannot get out of something. Someone may be facing legal consequences for something they did. Okay, someone is trapped. They trapped themselves. Absolutely. This is not someone genuine. This is someone disingenuine. This is someone disingenuine. Everything is being exposed about this person. This is a king of wands. But as you know, energy is fluid. So we can all adapt or take on these energies at any time. So in this situation right now, this person is showing up as a king of wands. So this could be a business owner, manager. This could be your supervisor at work. This could be someone in law enforcement. This could be anyone. But whoever this masculine is, is experiencing an ending they will not be able to recover from. They're trying to, to, to get away from their problems right now, but they cannot. Someone wanted to send you some type of message and they cannot. Yeah, this is a conniving person. They wanted to send a message to trap you in something. They were hoping they were going to uh, send you a message. You will respond and it will 
attach you to some type of situation that's going on. Someone wanted to, to mislead you, trap you in something. They wanted to defeat you, but they've been defeated before they can even approach you. Okay, I'm going to make this a short read. Yeah, someone, someone is... Someone is very malicious, is what I'm hearing. Extremely malicious. Someone is extremely malicious, vindictive. This has to do with resources. Someone may have stolen from you in the past, and now they wanted to steal from you again. Or someone is trying to steal an enormous amount of resources from someone. It's that you have an inheritance that is that belongs to you, and this person has been working behind the scenes to block that from coming to you because they want it. This is someone greedy. Someone does not want you to be independent. Someone does not want you to be the privileged lady. Someone is refusing to see you as the queen of cups. This is just someone that chooses to be evil, wicked. Someone is watching you. They've been keeping track of you to see what moves you're making so they can block it. And if this opportunity is coming to you, they're trying to block it. If anyone is trying to communicate with you, they're interfering with communications. There's a whole lot this person has been doing behind the scenes that people were not aware of, but they are coming in to know about. He celebrated too early. Someone thought they had defeated you, but there is some type of action he took that led to his own defeat. He cannot escape what he has created. Someone created a nightmare for themselves, but they thought they were creating it for you. And you are going to be celebrating. You're about to be in your privileged lady, privileged gentleman energy. Absolutely, you are going to be celebrating. Someone was trying to block this celebration. Judgment has been called. Your ancestors are not playing about you. The universe is not playing about you. You are protected. Won't be just before I sat down to do this reading, I kid you not. I saw it, the time was 444. You are protected. This person is trapped. Someone is stuck. They cannot leave. Someone trapped themselves. They're stuck in something extremely toxic. They cannot get out of. There's a couple in here as well that's going through an ending. This is a very malicious couple and judgment has been called on them. They are losing resources. They are extremely unhappy together. They don't like you talking. They don't like you breathing. They don't like you moving. They want to end you is what I just heard. These people have been working extremely hard to bring you endings. They were told to be practical about the situation, but they refused to be practical about it. Now they have legal issues they're facing. They may not even have the finances to pay for their legal obligations, obligations, but there's a court case going on. You are being told to stand your ground. Your ancestors are protecting you. You are covered on all sides. Your character is being exposed in this situation. You are being seen as someone with high moral character. You are solid as a rock. Okay? This person may have been painting himself out to be someone of high moral character. Remember I said he was pretending to be someone in the upright, but he's not. And the truth is being seen. There's a king of cups in here. This is someone you are familiar with. Someone was supposed to advocate for you, but they did not. Someone was supposed to defend you, but they did not. They may now want you to defend them, advocate for them. King of Swords. All these masculines have a hand in the, the pot. And this pot has to do with blocking you. They've been cooking up a whole lot of recipes. And now that the truth is being exposed about your character, they have to face the truth. Someone trapped themselves. Someone is facing legal consequences, legal issues. Someone is going to prison, jail, prison. Yeah. Someone does not have the money, I think, to bail themselves out. Court fees, lawyers, I heard. They don't have the money. 
And these people have been doing a whole lot to silence you or whoever this message resonates with. Absolutely, they've been doing a lot to silence you. But someone wanted to come towards you and they are being sat down. And for some of you, there is someone that wants to come towards you, but they're being blocked. And it's because they're trying to make you some type of false offer. It says someone is trying to penny pinch or some, I forget what the term is. They're trying to sneak you, give you less than what is yours. Someone is trying to steal from you in a really malicious way, but they're going to come off as them being genuine, looking out for your interest, but they are not. And they're being blocked out of your energy. Blocked. Someone cannot watch you anymore. Someone was extremely focused on you, trying to bring your work to an end. Wanting to bring your work to an end. And then this lands under the five of swords. Someone wanted to bring your work to an end. They wanted to defeat you. Someone is in competition with another person for a position. And the person that's competing with you is not worthy of the position. So they're doing malicious things behind the scenes to block you and prevent you from getting a hold of this position. But they're not going to get this they're not going to be able to get this position or keep this position. They're losing it. Someone has been focused on you, watching you for a long time, but they cannot anymore. It's like they've been doing things behind the scenes to get a reaction out of you, to gatekeep you, but they cannot anymore because they are being seen for who they are. Someone had a lot of money that they mismanaged or in the name of blocking you. This cycle is over, honey, for you. This cycle of toxicity is over for you. You don't need closure with these people is what I just heard. Someone wants to come in and have closure with you, but you don't care about having closure with the past. You leave the past in the past. That's what I'm talking about. And it's like the, the closure they want to have with you is not even genuine. These are pretentious people. They only want to have closure with you because things are not going in their favor now. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> You're closing this toxic cycle with these people and stepping into abundance. Ace of Pentacles out here. You have an offer that's coming in from the Most High. People were trying to block this. There was a heavy betrayal by a couple that was trying to block you from receiving this Ace of Pentacles. Absolutely not. You're still receiving it. It's not just this couple. It was a group of people that were working with this couple. And they have been uh, 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 defeated by the Most High. And it's coming to you. You are going through a transition right now. It may feel hectic. It may feel chaotic. It may feel like there's no end to it, but it's going to come to an end. It's, it's over. It's what I just heard. It's over. But the tactic these people are using is that they're going to make you feel like this is not over. They still stand a chance to win against you. They can still cause illusions and things like that. They cannot. This cycle is over. They are the ones that are trapped. They have trapped themselves. They are losing finances. People are broke in this situation. They don't have the finances anymore to block you is what I'm hearing. It's like they were collecting money, donations, bribery, and things like that, but they don't have the money anymore. Someone's finances is depleted. Someone depleted their finances trying to take you down. That's some type of commitment. A for effort, F minus for success, for victory for them. Yeah, oh my gosh, a tower. A fall from grace. A fall from grace. Then this is judgment by the divine. Someone has lost everything. Finance, networking opportunities, business opportunities, career. They're falling from, someone is being humble in the worst way possible. And this is because with these types of karmics, this is the only way you can get them to learn a lesson. 
is when you hit them where it hurts and that's in their pockets. Someone is falling from grace in the worst way possible. It's going to be public. People will see it. They will not be able to hide from this disgrace, this embarrassment. Someone is extremely toxic. They were guided to see things from a higher perspective, but they refused to because their ego was just too big. Someone thought because they had a lot of money, they were protected. This could be someone you don't even know, mind you. But because they are aware of you coming into some type of opportunity, they didn't want you to have it. So they've been doing things behind the scenes to destroy you. And the universe stepped in and took them down. You didn't even have to lift a finger. You didn't even have to lift a, fin lift a finger. And this masculine or whoever this is, is terrified of you. He's like, how in the world did this person take me down without doing anything? He now believes that the, that, that the, the source is real. God is real. Someone is at a loss for words. I hear someone crying. He's whimpering. Someone is whimpering. He's crying. It's like someone wanted to destroy you and then they ended up destroying themselves. Absolutely. Legal issues. Legalities. Someone is going through the worst time of their life or they're about to go through the worst time of their life. While you are experiencing victory, taking charge of your life and moving forward. Someone wants to trap you in something as well. There is some type of effort. There's an effort. They are trying to... There's a group effort to destroy someone. It's like they want you homeless. They want you living in just destitution. But things are getting better for you. You are coming out of a state of like and stepping into abundance really fast. And this is what these people have been trying to block. It's like someone is an occultist in this story and they've been teaching people how to siphon your energy, but they cannot anymore. So because they know what siphoning your energy does to you, they've been doing things to keep you living in poverty, like a lower energy, lower vibrational energy, something like that. But the universe stepped in and depleted this person's finances. This person is losing connections, friendships, business opportunities. Someone's business is going down the drain. There's an institution here that is going through an ending. These are manipulative and malicious people, void of any human emotions. And they are being taken down. Someone is saying, how can one person take us down? How can one person destroy us? You see this person and you see one person, but there is a whole army of angels around this person. The, the universe protects this person. So technically, this is not one person defeating you. This is the universe humbling you. This was a necessary lesson for these people to learn. They've done this before. They've destroyed many lives before, but they couldn't destroy yours. Absolutely. They couldn't destroy yours. Something is coming in really quickly for you because you stood your, your, your ground. You went through that dark night of the souls fearlessly. You didn't let anything or anyone stop your forward movement. You were loyal to your path to your cause, to your purpose. You were loyal to the Most High. You trusted the Most High to see you through. You trusted the universe to see you through. You knew there were unseen hidden helpers helping you, whether they were spiritual or physical. You knew that they were in there somewhere looking out for you and you kept going. No matter if you could not see your pathway, you kept going. You were like literally walking through the dark trying to find your way. But regardless, you still found your way. I love you for that. I love that for you.
That's called walking by faith and not by sight. Thank you for trusting the Most High. There's a king of cups in here. This person is from your past. Someone here is extremely malicious. Someone does a lot of manipulations to other people. And he's been manipulating people about you, telling a lot of lies and things like that. And he's been seen for who he is. He cannot lie anymore. This person did a whole lot of manipulation, was told to see things from a higher perspective and remove himself from this collaboration. So was this king of swords. I think this king of swords did what he was told to do. Walk away. But there are people in here that just choose not to because they were too stubborn, too greedy to see things from a higher perspective, to remove themselves from toxicity, to heal, to find new friends. The universe is literally reaching out to these people like, hey, let me help you heal. Let me help you be a better version of yourself. Let me help you live a more fulfilling life. You are trapped in something that is not fulfilling for you. But these people are so far gone mentally, they didn't do that. They thought it was a trick. They thought they were being tricked. They saw this is of pentacles. Someone could be about to become a millionaire. So these people saw the millions and they went bonkers, lost their noggins, and just started doing any and everything. Any and everything. Someone's privileges are coming to an end. Someone has been living a very privileged life and it's coming to an end because of actions they took against you. It's almost as though the universe is swiping places with you and this person. They're going from living in privilege to poverty and you are going from poverty to privilege. The minute you get a hold of what's yours, they lose all of that luxury and privilege because they did not get it in a good way or they were very poor at handling the responsibilities for that uh, 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 position or whatever this is. Okay, someone is bringing wisdom into this situation, but they're keeping it to themselves in a way where they're listening to and watching how all of these people are moving and they're seeing the truth about it. But they're keeping everything to themselves and doing the necessary things behind the scenes to fix things so that it can go in your favor. This is the universe touching someone's heart and mind to do the right thing because they see what all of these toxic, greedy, insecure, unhealed people have been doing. Someone went through some type of healing because of you by the hands of the Most High. The Most High worked through you. You probably said something, did something, and it helped this person heal, whoever it is. It could be this king of swords because I'm being drawn to him. You helped this person heal in some type of way. And now he is relying on his inner wisdom. He's going within to see the truth. This person is going through an awakening. Okay? This is a whole mess. Oh my Lord. Someone knows you are a queen of cups. You are a queen of cups. People have been messing with you, messing with your work, trying to defeat you time and time again. And someone is bringing balance into this situation. Yes, queen of cups and you're intuitively guided. And you're showing up as the magician. I love it. You are more powerful than all of these people put together. They do not match up to you. And there is something where they see you in this Queen of Cups energy. So they underestimate what you are capable of. And that's absolutely A-OK. -okay. Let them keep underestimating you. And time and time again, they will be proven wrong. And the universe will keep destroying them. This is why they're going in, they're in financial like Things are not getting better for them. They're hoping that things will get better, but it's not. 
is not getting better for them. This is the end for these people. There was some type of huge revelation by either an authority figure, a group of people, a judge, a lawyer. There was a secret that was being kept. People were doing a lot of manipulations, but someone sees the truth about you, Queen of Cups. And they are going within, relying on their inner wisdom to do the right thing. They're trusting the universe to guide them. Someone is relying on their intuition now. They're like, hold up. Something is not adding up. These people's stories are changing. Someone's story is changing. They were so happy when they thought they had defeated you. They were so happy when they thought they had defeated you. They didn't want things to get better for you, but it's getting better for you. Expect good news. Stay in positivity. No matter what's going on around you, stay in positivity. Keep your mind on positive thoughts. People are getting desperate in this group. So they're doing any and everything now. You can expect for people to start coming to your, trying to come into your energy to shake you up. Let them do what they want. They cannot do anything to you. That lets you know that you are close to your victory. These people are getting desperate. Absolutely desperate. So they're going to start pulling all of the tricks they can out of the bag. To, to shake you up. They want to shake you. They want to get a reaction out of you. They want you to feel like they are in control of your life, of your path, but they're not. They're not even in control of their own paths and lives. How can they be in control of you? There's an institution here that believes that they have control over an entire city or state. Their reach is very far, but they do not have control over you and it bothers them. And it's going to keep bothering them because they will never have control over you. You are meant to dismantle these types of organizations. So the very fact that they are trying to, to put you under control or have some type of control over you is ridiculous. It's hysterical. The universe is sitting back and laughing. It said, you think you can defeat me? I created you. I created you. Before you act, I know. Before you think, I know. Keep your mind on positive thoughts, positive things. Surround yourself with positive, positive friends, positive things. Okay? These people are not in control of your path, your destiny whatsoever. You're showing up as the magician. That means you have all the necessary tools needed for you to succeed in life, for you to thrive, for you to pave a new path for yourself. And you don't need permission from anyone to do that. You simply need to ask the universe to guide and protect you, to support you. They already do that without you asking. That is the only thing person or being you should be trusting right now is the universe, your ancestors, your guardian angels, yourself. Do not trust anyone else. Because the situation I'm seeing you all in right now is that you have 10 million people against you. And out of that 10 million people, you may have like maybe five people that will advocate for you. And out of those five people, some of them have ulterior motives. And those 10 million people don't understand how you are still standing up, how you're still moving forward. And that is called the favor of God. Okay? So keep your mind on positive thoughts. You have good news coming in. There will be no blockages. No one is going to block you from receiving this good news. People are going to be doing things now, amping up their tactics to shake you up and things like that. Let them do what they want to do. You, you're protected. And they know you are protected. They know you are protected. These toxic people unhealed, unwilling to heal, these people that are trapped in whatever it is they are in, 
they know you are protected. They cannot do nothing to you. This is why they are doing all of these childish and immature tactics behind the scenes, throwing rocks, hiding their hands. But who are they hiding their hands from? Because the Most High sees everything. Your ancestors are hovering over these people. They don't even know that everything they do is being seen. They're under 24-7 surveillance. You have family members that have turned against you. You have friends that have turned against you. You have strangers coming for you. It's like everywhere you go, it's like, you too? You too? You too? And then at some point, you just say, okay, everyone, everyone is up against me. It's whatever. It is what it is. But I know the most high is with me. And so you kept pushing forward. And you're going to keep pushing forward. You are in sure victory. These people are going up against a power that they do not understand. They've never encountered anyone or anything like you. So they don't even know what to make of the situation. But they're so greedy and wicked that they feel like they have to keep trying to take you down. They feel like it's their birthright to take you down. But they will not. You are up against a masculine that's not even anywhere near you. But he's using people like pawns. Paying them. He tells them move, do this, and he does it. Pawns. How can you be a human being? How can you allow another person to control you? How? Someone from your past is involved. They're having fond memories of you. You don't have any fond memories of the past. There will be no recollection, reconnection with the past. Okay? There's an emperor in here. You may have some type of passionate beginning with an emperor. This person may be sending you some type of message. You may be having a, a conversation with this person and they're trying to bring balance into your life. There could be an emperor in here. Yeah, this person is bringing clarity to you about this situation. There's a few emperors in here I'm seeing. One of them, yeah. One of them is going through some type of ending. Yeah, I told you guys, someone over did it. They spent a whole lot of money into trying to take you down. And now they are broke. Someone is pissed off. Someone is depressed. Someone does not want to accept the situation for what it is. They thought the more money they paid to block you, their victory was ensured. Only for them to lose. And someone is living in denial. Denial is a river in Egypt. And I don't think he's in Egypt. I think he's here. He's, he's in the U.S. Or he could even be in another country, but he's not in Egypt. I guarantee you that. But someone has lost a lot of money. They invested in the wrong thing. They invested in the wrong thing. They were expecting good news, but it's not coming in. The good news is coming for you. Someone's been interfering with your work, your forward movement, your livelihood, your joy, your happiness, your just you overall. A whole group of people. And they thought they were in sure of victory. These people are astounded. They are amazed, but pissed off at the same time. You may have a king of pentacles that's coming in to be your uh, uh, divine partner, your, your partner in life. You are being advised to be practical about this situation as well. I'm telling you, your past is involved. This car came out. Someone is having fond memories of you, but you don't have any fond memories of the past. Someone was malicious to you. This does not have to be a lover from the past. This could be family. This could be a co-worker. This could be a friend. They betrayed you, and now they're having fun memories of you, but this person was causing a lot of illusions. We have the King of Cups here, which means that this is possibly someone you could have been in a relationship with or you were meant to be in a relationship with, but they did a lot of manipulations when they were with you in your energy, and now it has come back to bite them in the behind. There is no way to turn back. So now they're in depression. They're missing you, daydreaming about you. 
wishing to reconnect with you, if I could just touch her one more time, if I could just see her face one more time, if I could just see her smile one more time. They cannot, they will not. Someone is blocked out of your energy. Someone lost a really good thing. It's what I just heard. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Who, baby. Someone here, there's an emperor that wants to give to you, but he has problems with finances going on. He wants to genuinely give to you, but there's something about his finances. This is someone that did not know how to either manage his finances or he invested in the wrong thing. But this person wants to connect with you. This is someone genuine, but there's something going on with them in their finances. And I don't know the specifics of it. This is someone that 